Uh, welcome to the official ABIO press conference after men's pursuit here at the World Championships in Antholz and Selva. With us, the winner, Emilien Jacqueline of France, silver medalist Johannes Tinius Bell of Norway, and bronze medalist Alexander Logano of Russia. Emilien, uh, when I ask Birer, Doro Birer, who won just before you, who she learns from, one of the names she said she learns from you because you fear nobody. So can you just take about, talk about the, the last loop, what tactics did you choose and whether you change them during the last loop? Wow, that's, that's cool from Dorothea to, to, tell, me, to tell this, but um, you know, I think in the normal life I'm not so much confident but on skis and on biathlon, every, everything is possible. And today, I knew that Johannes he was so fast again. Uh, I saw that in the second, third, and fourth loop, lap, sorry. But the, in the last, last lap, um, he didn't decide to attack me. And so I was just focused about tactic, uh, just be on his skis. And when he decided me to decided to let me pass, um, I don't know why, but I just remember when I was a cyclist when I was young. Um, I practiced um, uh, cycling track, and so I just remember how my uh, all my training at this moment. And yeah, I was just focused to to sprint at the good moment. And if he, if he didn't let you ahead, did you feel you had the power to attack him on the last meters? No, for sure. I, for, I think that if he didn't let me pass, uh, he, he would win, for sure. Uh, you have talked a lot about your technical improvements this season. But can you tell us about the mental switch you made from last season? You really went from, let's say, um, uh, unexperienced to to somebody who won gold medal at the World Championships? Mm, this year I'm more focused about myself. Uh, I think last year I was too much kind with uh, my teammates, with the other guys in the, in the biathlon World Cup. Um, for me, all the guys in my team are so strong and I was like the, the young guy and I didn't want to, to push them. And, but since the first May, when we came back to training, I decided to, to be different. I wanted to have my place in my team and to be one of the greatest uh, biathletes uh, of the season. So I, I worked hard uh, mentally and physically to, to be faster as last year and to be stronger mentally in shooting. And Martinez, one of the best ever, was, seemed really happy with your win today. What, what did he share with you oh. at the finish line? Um, we didn't talk a lot, but you know, we we tr I trained with Martin since maybe six or seven years. Uh, we live in the same town, and I grew up with him. Uh, I learned a, whole, a lot with him, and thanks to him. And so yeah, it's like when he he win a races, and for example in Oberhof, I finished second behind be behind him, but um, I was too much happy for for Martin and. I think it was the same, the same thing for, for him today. Thank you and congratulations. Uh, Johannes, that's your third pursuit silver at the World Championships. How would you rate uh, your race today? Uh, I don't know. I think I did a, a good race. Um, we had uh, very fast skis today, so uh, I could, uh, could improve from uh, my bad shootings in the prone and put myself in a in position for a gold with uh, Jacqueline and Loginov on the final shoot. And how did you change your approach from sprint in sprint? You really started really, really fast. And then at the end, it seemed like you ran a bit out of power in the, in, in the final loop. Yeah, I think sprint and pursuit is two totally different races. So uh, I don't think I can compare it. OK, and, and you, you have a very emotional season, not, not just here. A lot has happened to, you, to your life. How do you feel you, you finally settled in these World Championships with so much going on here and not just here? Uh, nah, what can I say? You try to, I think, uh, I've 
a little bit uh, less nervous in front of the world champs this year because of uh, the family situation at home and uh, this puts me in a position where I just want to have fun and and that I think that's why I was satisfied with my fifth place yesterday and not too disappointed so I could just uh, relax today and uh, and do my best uh, one more time and hope for a medal. Thank you and congratulations. Uh, Alexander, what was your mental approach before the last shooting? You, you were in quite commanding lead. Alexander, перед последней стрельбой вы лидировали. Как настраивались на стрельбу? Да, на самом деле сегодня гонка была чуть труднее, чем вчера, и все шло по плану до 18-го выстрела. Но тем не менее я очень рад сегодняшней бронзовой медали. Я рад, что это вторая медаль моя на чемпионате мира. И надеюсь, что моя форма будет дальше не ухудшаться, а держаться на хорошем уровне. Everything was going really well uh, according to the plan during the race until the 18th shot. So well it happened, but I'm still very happy to get the medal here and it's uh, already my second medal. So I really hope that my shape will continue to stay stable. Yesterday it was a great but also very difficult day for you with wanted and unwanted attention. How did you prepare for today's race after yesterday's um, happenings? Вчера был довольно непростой день для вас с стороны положительных и, возможно, других эмоций также. Как вы настраивались на сегодняшнюю гонку? Я еще раз скажу, что меня очень сильно спасает в этом плане жена. У меня каждый день, каждый час по 2-3-4 новых видео, как развивается моя дочь, поэтому у меня только позитив, когда я смотрю в телефон. И поэтому мне спокойно, могу спокойно настраиваться на дальше на гонке. I think uh, I already mentioned that uh, my wife helps me a lot with that. Uh, every time I take a look at my phone, I got uh, four or five new videos of my daughter from home. And uh, looking at these videos make me really happy. And uh, this makes me uh, more comfortable to prepare for the races. Can you tell us um, how does your wife help, me, uh, help you apart from sending your daughter photos. I saw you talk to your wife after you came in. What energy does she give you? Кроме фотографий и видео, в чем еще заключается поддержка вашей жены? Ну, я думаю, что всем я не могу рассказать, какая у меня поддержка от моей жены. Должны быть какие-то секреты, но тем не менее, в любом случае, от нее самое очень много позитива, и она Всегда старается поддерживать меня, чтобы настроение у меня всегда было только очень хорошее. Well, I will not tell you all of the secrets, uh, but uh, mostly she is always very positive, and she shares the energy to me, and in every situation she tries to cheer me up. Thank you and congratulations. Any more questions? Can you just tell uh, who you are and from which media, please? Hello, Channel One Russia. Павел Занозин. Саш, ты стал чемпионом мира вчера. Можно сказать, что это как-то тебя изменило? Можно сказать, что ты теперь чувствуешь себя по-другому? Александр, ты became a world champion yesterday. Uh, could we say that uh, you changed? Ни капли не изменило. Я говорю, это еще на один день приблизило меня к дому. И скоро я попаду домой, потому что, если честно, сейчас мои мысли все о чемпионате мира, а следом уже о семье и о доме. No, nothing had been changed inside of myself. Uh, only one day closer to get back home. Uh, everything I'm thinking about at the moment is the world championships and then uh, the way back home. Any more questions? Hi, it's for Emilien. Uh, after six years, you okay? I'm uh, from OI Sport, Michele. Um, okay, after six years, you broke the curse and you became the youngest winner on the World Cup at the World Cup um, level in biathlon. 
broke the record of Johannes. Um, how do you feel about that looking forward? Because he was still the, the youngest winner on the tour. Maybe not in World Cup, but in no. World Championships? Sure. Say? In first, first level. Ah, okay. Um, for me, Jonas is he's really better than me, and at the same age, uh, I can't compare. And I just want to be focused on myself. And he's so strong. <laughs> no, I'm not better for sure. Um, yeah, I'm really happy about these kind of things. But oh, I didn't knew that. But uh, yeah, it's uh, good things. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Somebody else? Владимир Иванов, Спорт Экспресс. Сань, к тебе два вопросика. Первый, что сказала жена, когда узнала, что ты приглашаешь всех спортсменов к себе домой? Второй, сегодня прошла информация, что в прошлом году Оли Эйнер Бьерндалин приглашал тебя на совместный сбор с норвежцами. Если это так то почему ты отказался? Ну, совместную тренировку провести и там обо всем поговорить в такой более-менее неформальной обстановке. Ну, начну со второго вопроса. Александр, как вы думаете, как вы думаете, когда сегодня на пресс-конференции вы пригласили всех иностранных атлетов на визит в ваш дом? По поводу приглашение. Я думаю, что она все-таки человек из спорта. Она была в сборной команде Украины национальной, и э, она, в принципе, не против <laughs> посмотреть, как кто-то еще тренируется рядом со мной, видимо. А по поводу второго вопроса. Um, well, my wife is not far away from sport. She has been an athlete as well in the national team of Ukraine, and she is well aware how the Uh, preparation goes when all of the athletes leave together. So might, she might be interested to see how the other athletes train. And um, the second question was, um, there was an information uh, that uh, last season Ulana Bjondalen invited you uh, for some informal uh, personal training together with him. Is it true or maybe not? Нет, я, если честно, такого не слышал, но я всегда готов потренироваться, если меня пригласят хоть кто. <laughs> Это не проблема. Никакая. Well, Вообще. To be honest, I have never heard about this invitation, but if that will ever take place, I would be happy to join Ule, of course. Anybody else? Thank you very much.